You're welcome. So good. Oh my god, the taste of bourbon is like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bam. Smack you right in the face. <laughs> neighborhood in Miami Florida now this isn't your typical ice cream shop all the flavors are Latin inspired and possibly the most Cuban ice cream you'll ever have so let's go Azucar was founded in 2011 by Susie Battle a former banker for 20 years who found herself in need of a career change when the market crashed in 2008 so then I had to figure out what to do. So I had two kids, they were small at the time, and they're the ones who were like, hey, why don't you open an ice cream store? I was like, oh, that might be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> they kept on and on and on, and, and I, I became a real estate agent at that point in Key Biscayne, and then I said, you know what, I'm gonna do this. As a woman of action, it was at that moment she decided to attend Ice Cream University at Penn State and the Frozen Dessert Institute of St. Louis. Her training has given her the ability to turn almost anything into ice cream. So today we're gonna make a coconut flan ice cream. Nobody makes flan ice cream. We're the only people that make flan ice cream. First, pour in a mixture of whole milk, a little buttermilk, and cream. Throw in loads of real flan from Lila's. Pour in the rum for that extra Cuban touch. And let's add some more. Now you gotta blend everything. Pour it into the Carpajani machine, which is one of the best ones out there, to give it that gelato type texture. Eight minutes later and you get this silky, smooth, rich ice cream. But we're not done yet. Let it freeze for a couple of hours to give it that creamy ice cream texture. Wow, so I taste the flan, the aftertaste of the, like the syrupy, the flan, it's so creamy. And and even the rum, the rum has a nice like hint, a, a taste, I love it. So despite the name being azúcar, you don't really use that much sugar. You rely more on right. the natural sugar, the fruits and the ingredients that you source. And the fruit has to speak for itself because if I'm buying the fruit naturally, I wait for it to get super ripe. Once it gets ripe enough, that's when I cut into it. So we monitor the fruit every day. And the guava, I actually get it in, in Homestead as well. We get, I mean, all our fruits are from Homestead. So I want to try the Abuela Maria, which I hear is the most popular one. So Abuela Maria was invented here at our store, and it's really just a take on what every Cuban loves at four o'clock. So every Cuban loves to take a Maria cracker, take a slice of guava, mm -hmm. a, a slice of cream cheese, and eat it sometimes with coffee, sometimes without coffee. So we decided we're gonna put it into an ice cream. So that's exactly what we did. So very, very here you go. creamy. You might need a spoon. Mm -hmm. There you go. This is so good. Hold on. I have to look cuter as I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. All right, let me see which angle. Mmm. Is it a retake without a retake? <laughs> <laughs> What makes ice cream Cuban? What is it that gives it that Cuban touch that only you can do? Well, I, th I always say, you know, I'm Cuban and I make it, so that makes it Cuban ice cream. But we also use flavors from my past and from our roots, Cuban roots. So a lot of the flavors you'll see, like flan, um, like Abuela Maria, uh, coconut, mame, the mantecado, those are flavors you'll, you're never gonna get anywhere else. No. Even the decor resembles Cuba. The tiles are replicas of the type of tiles that you would see in Cuba today. And then if you come over here and you see the seats, the seats are actually Guayabera t-shirts. It's the type of t-shirt that men in Cuba wear. So it's like their, their go-to shirt. And here we have the Seria Cruz, 
which was a very, very famous Cuban singer. Ice cream was a big part of Susie's life growing up, and it always reminds her of family. It goes beyond taste, and each flavor tells a story and is even almost nostalgic to other people. That's really what it's about, right? When you're trying something, like when you had it when you were a kid, and that's what you remember from it. And that's what's so beautiful about being able to make ice cream, that each time I make it, I know who my customer is, and I know exactly what they want it for, and it's that's exactly what it is. They sit around, and they catch a memory of them. So that's, it's, I think it's the nostalgic part of the food that I love. So people come here and they have the ice cream here and they're like, holy, how, how is it possible that this is the same taste I had when I was in Cuba? Aside from ice cream, I also wanted to talk a little bit about business. What advice would you have right now if someone wanted to start their own business or anything? They just want to start something. What advice would you give them? I, I'm always into the math. So the math is the most important part of any business because you have to have cash flow, you have to be able to invest in yourself, and you have to be able to pay yourself. So without those three, you have nothing. And what's your take on vision and the importance of that and being able to start your own business? Well, I'll tell you, so when I first started here, all I really wanted was to send my kids to college and then to find a way to retire. So really that was how I started out. But then Asuka became bigger than I am. By a ton, like all of a sudden people were calling, the ice cream restaurants were calling, right. So then all of a sudden the vision became different. So my vision keeps changing as I go all the time. So now I've gotten to the point where I think this could be a national brand. I would never franchise it out. I'm gonna do it myself. All right, so let me tell you, the ice cream at Azúcar was phenomenal. So, so good. It doesn't taste like your typical ice cream. This one was so rich, so creamy. The flavors are unique, all right? You know, you have you have flan, you have rum infused and a few of them. It's just so good. So I highly recommend that you check this place out. It's in Little Havana and plus you'll get a piece of the Cuban culture, which is a total necessity if you're in Miami. So, Well guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please subscribe and like. Thank you.